You want to know what the real fucking tragedy here is? <sighs> Betty White just passed away, and instead of being able to mourn the death of an icon, a legend, the first lady of St. Olaf, I had to waste the few brain cells that 2021 has left me with concerning myself with this low-level bullshit. So thanks for that, Shannon. You're a real hero. Good morning. Angels. Good morning, Charlie. Hell. We in a hurry. Okay. Period. Three, two, one. You want to know what the real fucking tragedy here is? <sighs> Betty White just passed away, and instead of being able to mourn the death of an icon, a legend, the first lady of St. Olaf, I had to waste the few brain cells that 2021 has left me with concerning myself with this low-level bullshit. So thanks for that, Shannon. You're a real hero. Three, two, one. Good morning, angels. I'm Nikki Elliott Nelson. And I'm Mocha Pennington. And this little dumpster fire you're about to watch is a little something <laughs> we like to call Tea Time. A channel where we like to discuss YouTube drama and all its essence. In all of its <laughs> dirty little essence. Now, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Because if you do, honey, an angel gets his way. But you know what? I'm at the point where I don't know if anybody gets wings. <laughs> I don't know either. Like, I well, know. um... Kathleen Lice got her wings, didn't she? Uh, Kathleen, from what? From our last video. Right, She got, right. She got her she wings. Got, but this particular situation, I... I think I'm going to keep the fucking wings for myself. Okay, honey. Um, I prefer flats, not drums. Thank you. <laughs> and make them extra spicy, real I hot. Because spicy wing. this is a heaping human pile of dog shit. Yeah, this is crazy. I will just have to be the first one to say it. Uh, Mocha, what are your thoughts? Like, So let's just, let's, let's hop into it because we've seen enough. I honestly did not think Shannon was going to come back. At all. I didn't think she, oh, that she was like, oh, hell, bye, y'all. I'm done. I was like, oh, she's never coming back. It's been six months. And she popped up on New Year's Eve, didn't she? With a video. A two-hour and 30-minute video. Like, I don't have enough to fucking do. It's like a Spider-Man, an X-Man movie. Like, this little superhero movie is two hours and 30 minutes. And a fucking Google Doc longer than the Constitution. Do you know that people on YouTube don't like to fucking read, Shannon? Honey, did you see that description box? Uh, yeah. She <laughs> had a whole novel on there just going off. She was like, and furthermore... <laughs> because, like... You could have put all that shit in the video, yeah. but we didn't. Um, Thank God it would have been three hours. So here's the thing. Emily Artful. You guys may not know Emily Artful. If you're watching this video, you probably know Emily Artful. But yeah. like six months ago, like Homegirl came out with, I don't want to call it a hit piece because that sounds like the intentions weren't great. Yeah. But I mean, at the time, if we all have to be perfectly honest, like Creep Show Art, Shannon was like in some heart water because heart. Some hot water behind, behind some shit I guess she had done on locale. I guess she got exposed. I guess she was on the locale. That's a pretty much a forum where you just talk shit right. anonymously. You just sit there and just talk shit. But they had like guidelines. And she broke all those guidelines. And they said, okay, honey. So they exposed Shannon. And, but it says Her, in I, the guidelines, if you break the rules, we will expose your anonymity or something yes. like that. Like it's in... The guy looked. They exposed it was Shannon. She was talking shit on all of her friends. Every last one of them, she was saying racist, transphobic, homophobic, this horrible, horrible, horrible thing. She was having arguments with herself. <laughs> there were two people arguing and they came from the same IP address. So there's that. <laughs> so not too much after that whole thing happened. Um Emily Artful, which is a creator who I didn't even know at the time, uh -huh. emerges from the shadows and has like this video that is like, I don't know, this epic fucking video that's like two hours long about all of the terrible, horrible, awful, traumatic shit that Creepshow Art has put her through over the years. No. I mean, homegirls and have more husband. receipts than Walmart. Like, oh, mm -hmm. yeah, and that fucking husband. Their We're husband. gonna get to that. Homegirl had more receipts than a Walmart. Now, I'll be honest with you guys. You can see my gum. Is that low? I don't get. I don't fucking care. <laughs> so I'm just gonna slide it up under my tongue like I do everything else and go on about the video. Well. You know what I'm saying? 
I'll be honest, at the time, I thought it was a little bit suspicious that the people over at Locale exposed Creepshow Art. And then what? Within I, 24 to 48 hour turnaround time, Emily Artful was able to produce like a two hour epic video about how shitty of a person Creepshow Art was. So I was just like, at first, my first thought was, sounds like conspiracy takedown because I don't care how good you are. <laughs> I don't care how good you are. You can't put some shit together that quick. I mean, you got to be working day and night, night and day. But that's besides the point. We ain't going to talk about that. I mean, I just, I would like the record to reflect that the thought didn't escape my mind. Mm. But, you know, the movement moved on as it does. Now, what Emily Artful say in that video? Just give us a brief recap. What were her main reasons? She was being stalked and harassed by Shannon and Shannon's husband. Mm -hmm. In essence. In essence. Like, when we boil it down to what it is, she was like, y'all, this bitch been stalking me. And she was sexually assaulted by Shannon's husband. Husband. Is what she said. Yeah. It's what the record should reflect. Now, those are allegations that came straight from Emily But I don't think that Shannon and... I think his name is Anthony. Yeah, weren't married at the time. I think they they were they were dating mm-hmm. Emily and and Anthony. They were dating. Mm-hmm. Oh um, yeah, no, the real show stuff. I mean, not the real showstopper, but it's weird how I don't know if you guys remember, but Emily Artful kind of exposed that it looked like Shannon was like trying to steal portions of her identity. Mm-hmm. Like you know, if you guys remember Creep Show Arts like content, it would be like. Her drawing while kind of spilling the tea, right? Yeah. She would be drawing, and Emily was like, I know you didn't think she made that shit up. That was me. Yeah, like people were comparing the two like way back in the day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Emily was just like, oh, no, no. Homegirl stole that for me. Okay. Also, Emily put out some like footage of like what her hair used to look like back in the day, and like. Oh, gosh, honey. I saw that and I was. Shannon popped up with a dude that was like just like it, a little better. Just, huh, but I was just like, oh my god! Yeah, I mean, so it was a little weird. It gave off like intense, serious stalker vibes. You know, it wasn't a great look. Yeah, and I feel like you know, Creepshow knew that it wasn't a great look because her friends, and by her friends, we're talking Repzilla, we're talking Tipster, we're talking. I mean, everybody. Let's just be... Yeah, I, people were saying that she was friends with everyone everybody. in the community. She didn't have not one enemy. Yeah, and I think... And that's probably she intentional. never had to, like, air any grievances with them. Because it turns out she was shit-talking them all behind their back. Oh, all the time, you know what I'm saying? Even, even um, D'Angelo, D'Angelo Wallace. Wallace. <laughs> Alright, that's Just like cool. how boring he was. No, remember she was like, D'Angelo Wallace is somebody who like people pretend to like, but no one really does. Oh. And I was just like, whoa. And then there's one video, she's like, oh, he's coming to my wedding. What? <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. So, I feel like she knew the jig was up because like she told her friends not to defend her, which is like, I don't know, it could go either way because like, so <laughs> they <it's>, said cool. <laughs> right? It can really go either way. You're either like telling your friends not to defend you because it's just like, y'all, I don't want y'all to get in this. Or it could be like this master manipulation where it's just like, no, don't defend me in hopes that they do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Honey. It could really go either way. I'm telling y'all what. If I'm ever getting my ass whooped by the internet, defend me. Okay? (laughs) I didn't do that shit. It's out of my character. Y'all better motherfucking defend me. Because I'm going to remember each and every one of y'all motherfuckers who didn't. And I'm coming back for that ass. However, she pulled the whole, don't defend me, yada, yada, yada. And I guess she didn't expect it from her friends, but whatever they, like, she, they gave her, like, a week or two to produce something. Yeah, there was, like, girl, Anything. they were messaging her. Like, hey, like, bro. Like, I messaged her whenever it first all happened. Did she like, respond? Yeah, she read it, but she didn't say shit. <laughs> well, I was like, I hope everything's okay, because I didn't know the extent of that is her, like, she was going to the gig. So I was like, oh, well, let me go reach out to her. And, and that seems like a very mocha thing to do. I mind my business, honey. Well, I was like, I'm going to wish you the best. She read it. She's like, honey, go to hell. Oh, she told you to kiss her ass. And so. <laughs> Everyone else, too, apparently. <clears throat> apparently, so eventually her friends was like fuck it it's looking pretty bad for us over here because everybody know that we're friends with you you got us looking horrible out here so i mean we gonna have to you know 
leave you here to cry and die. Like, sorry, girl. And they peaced out on that ass. Yeah. Well, she hit the bricks. She disappeared for six motherfucking months. And like, so I was just like, well, that's the end of that. I remember we did one video because we were catching a little bit of heat in the comment section. People were like, are you going to talk about your friend? Oh, you were on vacation. You were, totally, you were in another country. I was in another <laughs> fucking country. Are you going to talk about your little friend? No, I'm at the beach, bitch. Okay. Like, I got a fruity drink and not a care in the world when her psycho ass is doing stateside. <laughs> what the fuck I care? So we, you know, we had to address it. And I believe we said our official stance in that video was, hey, girl, um, it's not looking great for you. You know, should you ever have something to say of substance? You know, we will hear you out. Um, but it's not looking wonderful. I think it was like a 20 or 30 minute video. I think that was our official stance on mm -hmm. it. I know somebody, somebody remembers watching it in the comments section. <laughs> Back a bitch up. You know what I'm saying? Um... Here we are, and six uh, months later. Six months later. So her channel doesn't get demonetized. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Damn. Huh? Every six months, you just gotta put something out. Yeah, I mean, and, huh? It could be a coincidence. You never know. You know what I feel about coincidence? It's for children and whores. Well. Okay, so she comes out with this video, and I was just like, you know minutes. what? I walked into it, and I was like. I said, I'm going to hear you yeah. out. Yeah. I said, I'm going to hear you out. And even up until like this moment, I still have things where I'm like, you know, she could be right. And so the whole thing is like, Mocha, when we get on camera, you're going to have to convince me. Because I'm still at a point, if I'm being fair, you know, I'm still at a point where I know that once people, first of all, the first person who like to, to come forth and stake a claim People are genuine, and especially if it was, it's like highly emotional, people are going to throw all of their weight behind that person. I know that because that's how people are. There's a track record. There's data sets to prove it. Did I bring any? No. You'll just have to believe me. <laughs> and if you don't, I really don't give a shit. This is called tea time, not fucking forensic files. I ain't got time for this shit. Anyway, that's how people are. So I knew that people were going to still believe Emily, like regardless, right? So I knew that coming into it. And then I would hear like, you know, I watched a couple of videos and I was just like, so this is like all of the critiques of Shannon, everything I've said before is still being true, but most of the critiques are like how she presented the information and, you know, like her word choices and things like that. And I'm like, I oh, don't know, this ain't really concrete. This seems like we just want to be like married to our opinions without too many facts or data points. And we've already tried that in the colonies. It was called the witch hunts in Salem. And I don't really want to be a part of it. But the more I think about the entire thing, I'm willing to be convinced that um, my initial opinion is wrong. So Mocha, hit us up. What's happening? I mean, oh gosh. Okay, the video was two hours and 30 minutes of her pretty much like proving, disproving Emily, pr pretty much saying she's a horrible person, which Emily had and had said, honey, I was a toxic person back in my time, honey. I was, I was something else. I was a wild child, pretty oh, much, in essence. There's, and like, here's the thing. There's nothing wrong with being a wild child as long as you're not hurting anybody else. So, like, we do this thing where we kind of, like, societally take people down a peg. Like, let's say someone is a whore. Who are they hurting besides themselves? You know what I'm saying? If, and furthermore, are they really hurting themselves if no, they had a good time and they use protection? Doing no. That doesn't make them a bad person. Let's say Do someone yourself, honey. is a drug addict or was a drug addict, but they're no longer a drug addict. And in the process, they didn't really hurt anybody, which is really like bad for them. I and mean, that's one thing. Now, I understand there are cases where drug addicts kind of hurt people yeah. along the way. And that's a, a horse of a different color. But right here, we're talking about people who just like their drugs and it was hurting them and then they got over it. I don't understand any need to punish them right now today for something that they moved on from. That doesn't make sense. It sounds more like a character assassination. I'm sorry. I, I, I mean, that's how the video pretty much <clears throat> was like a care. She like, she wanted to disapprove everything. Like she was bringing up stuff from Emily. She was like 13 years old. What the hell does that have to do with right now? She's honey, she, like every single bit of 
incriminating or damaging. The horrible things Emily said on the internet was in that video. From like 12 <laughs> to like seven, I don't know. Like it was crazy. And then Emily has said, you've been harassing and stalking me for X amount of years. And then that video just kind of proved that she has been. Okay. So let's talk about this like rationally, logically, you know, just for, I hate to be the devil's advocate because everybody hates the devil's advocate, but I just want to like make it pretty concrete that we're not just going with what everyone else has to say because Mocha knows like I would rather die than just agree with something because everybody else is agreeing with it. That's not how we do things here. Want to make it like, let's just go through the process. So first of all, what I'm hearing is that um, she really had no concrete evidence to prove anything about Emily except for bringing up terrible things that she had said previously that had absolutely nothing to do with the allegations that she had levied against Shannon six months ago. Mm. Is that what I'm hearing? She's, yeah. She's just, <laughs> it was, I don't know, I'm laughing because it was just such a, a shit show of a video and, and also like, like the timelines they jumped oh my it was just crazy like and she had six months to put that together <laughs> she couldn't come up with something better than that no it's character just... assassination so here's my other thing though like it's so transparent whenever a creator is like going through the gigs or they get called out by someone their like immediate reaction is to scrape up all the dirt against that person that they can find and put out a video like this. But I feel like she had like a lot of that information. Like Already her and her husband had a lot of that information. That's just my personal opinion. So because some of that we... stuff came from like accounts that's been like deleted. So we'll get there, but can we go back to the choice to actually compile that information and put it into a video for public consumption. Like guys, like going forward, you're not fucking proving anything. You've not, you've not done anything. Like th this isn't the gotcha that you think it was. Like this person said, you did X, Y, and Z to me. You like putting together every horrible thing that they've done since the time that they were 12 <laughs> does not absolve you from doing X, Y, and Z to yeah. them. So what are you trying to do? Say, well, if I'm a bad person, you're a bad person too, so you equally deserve it. That's not how accountability works, champ. Like, it don't go that way. So I'm not seeing it. Then also, can we talk about homegirl Emily Artful said that Creepshow Art was a stalker. Yeah. So <laughs> then you proceed to put out a video that all but proves that you've been stalking homegirl? For a long time. If that picture with that split hair didn't <laughs> prove it. That video did. And I was just like, girl. So, like, how does this serve you, Shannon? Because, like you said, some of the accounts were, like, disabled, right? Yeah, they're gone. So there was no way she could have saw Emily's video six months ago and been like, you know what? That tears it. Mm-hmm. But even if she saw the video six months ago and those her accounts were up, how did you know what her live journal was from when she was fucking 12? Yeah, honey. I don't give a shit that she had a crush on her fucking teacher. I don't understand. No, it's, it, it was, it's ridiculous. And at the end of the video, she was just like, I ain't coming back. This is it, which, uh, I mean, she may, cause she's in the comments, honey, they're ripping her apart. Cause you know, the, the, the dislikes are disabled, but apparently there's like some there's extension a Chrome extension or something. where you can go and see how many people did. Did you see? <laughs> she barely scraped together a thousand likes on the video. And she has like the last I seen or heard was like twenty thousand. Mm. Twenty thousand dislikes. Like that's crazy. And the people are ripping into the sheds. So I don't know. I mean, she says she's not coming back. Keemstar says he's retiring, but then it turns out he's not retiring. Oh, so is she not coming back? And if all of the things that are leaning towards true are true about her, then that would make her a certain personality type that I'm not going to label here because I am not a doctor, a shrink, a psychologist. I don't have the range or the degrees. But if the personality type is what I have been able to Google within the past couple of months... Um, they always, like, come back and try to prove their point and, like, by any means necessary. So, is she really not gonna come back? I don't think so. I don't, I don't, I don't know. 
I no mean, idea. she could. And the end of the damn video, she was like, and, tri and tipster. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> she did, but the crazy thing is, like, she told her friends not, first of all, what? Now, Shannon, I done said this a couple times, and I, who are we? We ain't nobody. We ain't shit. Okay. But this is YouTube, baby. What's a friend anyway? Like, you should always just assume on the tubes that ain't nobody got your back. Lauren Conrad once said, like everybody, but don't trust anyone. And that applies to YouTube so well. You got to like everybody, but a Assume that the minute they can, they are going to turn on you. And with that foundation, you kind of told them not to defend you. And now you're giving them smoke because they backed out of defending yeah, you. And he, Which one is it, girl? He reached out to her and like for a statement or in the video that her husband put out or something. And do you remember what she said? <laughs> you folded so easily. Yeah. Fuck you. So, I mean, I mean bro. He, I feel like... Cause I I don't know I don't I don't know Emily I don't know Shannon and I, and I don't know. I mean, husband. let's be honest. Do you want to know any of the people involved in this situation? I feel like the husband. I feel like he's like he put it pitted those two women against each other. So like this is like my theory. Girl, get out of my head because we have so much. I was just thinking, and this was five hours ago. I was like, at the end of the day, we have a situation where some asshole man has pit two women who would probably under regular circumstances get along perfectly well. Yeah, they're both like the artsy girls. Exactly. They would probably be really good friends. They probably like have good collaborations. They bounce ideas off of each other's yeah. head really well. They would make good friends and they'd probably come up with some dope ass concepts and some dope ass artwork together. But instead some man is the dick that good? It can't. I I don't believe it. Yeah. I just Even if you told me it was, I wouldn't believe it. Because, listen, I, sex is like pizza. When it's good, it's great. And when it's bad, it's still good. I mean, and you can get Except it. Except for those Tony's pizzas, the, fr the frozen ones. Uh -huh. I mean, I'll still fu I will oh, fuck up a Tony's. <laughs> I will fuck up a Red Baron. Red I will fuck good. up a DiGiorno. I love Hell, it. Hell, I'll fuck up a Freshetta. I don't care. I'll eat Domino's pizza. Pizza's just good. I feel like sex is the same way. Even if it ain't great, it's still like, I mean, yeah. I do it again. <laughs> so, yeah. like, what's so great about this man that y'all don't let him turn y'all against one another? He's probably a manipulator. He's probably, he can play a real good mind game. Okay. I, how good, how good, how good can you be? To keep this shit up for how many years? Like, it, listen. I mean, she married. <laughs> after a while, I'd be like, babe, I just don't give it. I mean, I know you're... Actually, after a while, I'd be like, babe, so it seems like you're oddly vested in this woman and her behavior. Is there something that I need to know? Because if you are over this, like you're claiming to be over this, and I am the apple of your eye, the one that you desire, the only one that fucking matters, why does her name keep coming up? I mean, she dyed her hair like her. So apparently, honey, she she saw something that he liked. Allegedly, I don't know. And she was like, well, let me be that. Let me try to please him. Or how Allegedly, about this? I don't know. Fuck him. Okay? Go, go paint in a field full of daisies. It's other men. Like, I don't get it. You know, I just... But, you know, who am I? Who am I? You know? I, I feel like her her YouTube career has like has come oh, to an end. It's so done. she did say that she like has she said in the past. I don't know. She, she said has a full time she job. has a full time. Which I do hope so, and I hope that like she gets help. She gets some therapy. I I really hope so. Because I I felt I going into this I felt bad making the video just because like we have interacted with her before and she was always nice yeah she has always been and super supportive yeah. and like really sweet yeah you know so it feels like bad but then it was like she was always nice and super supportive and really to sweet everyone. to everyone yeah and if what Lil Cal had to say was correct then she's a backstabber yeah and so it's like, like in her content like her content was like Pro, like, pro-black, pro-LGBTQ, XYZ, like, her content was good, and it was, like, 
eye opening, like a, a, a breath of fresh air. Because she was really good at reading the room and mm -hmm. then telling people, telling her audience what she knew they wanted to hear. Yes. And then it turns out she didn't feel any of that shit. There's also, <laughs> I'm sorry, I was just about to wrap it up. Yeah. I was like, I just remembered that um, I guess a lawyer had reached out to Emily. Yeah. And talking about um, she needs to like take down the videos or something like that. She's still they're still a on lawyer it. on the behalf of Shane. Yes. Yes. Okay. But if you read the little like it's people were saying like, honey, I don't think that's a lawyer like a real one because how the the word choice and it's like really amateurish. They're probably like, honey, that's Shane <laughs> imitating a lawyer. You know what? This is some single <laughs> <you're> <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> This is some single white female bullshit, and I can't, I can't, that is a movie, y'all. It's a movie. No, this is a movie. This, no, like, no, single white female is a movie. Oh, I'm not I making, right I am here. no, in no way implying that Shannon is a single white female. I mean, two out of three. She's a married white female. It's, listen, watch the movie Single White Female, you'll get it, before you want to say something in the comments, because I, I don't know if you hear me, but I am sick as shit. Okay, I've had a cold for what feels like two months, and I don't have time for the bullshit. <laughs> so before you get in the comment section with your sass bass, watch the movie. Mm -hmm. Shannon, you know what? I'm going to put two up in the air for you at some point. I, um... I'm praying for you because that's all I can do. I want her to get some help. That's, that's all. It doesn't... It didn't look good before. It doesn't look great look now. horrible now. Angels, sound off in the comments below. You know, this whole thing, fuck what we think. This is about what you think. Let us know how you feel. We, that's it. That's all we got. Um, to everybody else, you know, stay strong. Because <laughs> home Shan is going to get you. <laughs> Stay strong, babies. We love you so much. married white female's gonna get you. <laughs> Mocha, did you have anything to add? Um, check the description box. We have links to um, our social medias. Yeah. We have, you know, there's links down there. We have a discount card with Mira, honey. Go check it out. And some more shit. Uh, mm -hmm. And until next time, keep, keep stepping. You know, our Instagrams are almost like our videos. Except for they don't talk. Some would consider that an upgrade. Either way, they're not going to follow themselves, so pop on over and give us some love.